But there's a problem with Sonny and I. This is a video that I've been meaning to make for a couple of weeks now. And uh, you all probably saw, uh, I think it was part four or part five of the Honeycut Farm. This series has been so long and we filmed there so many times that I can't really keep up. Uh, I got a lot of hate, which I don't care about whatsoever. But I got a lot of hate for the wrong reasons and I'm gonna explain why. So as most of you know, I bought a haunted farm and it's probably the best worst decision that I've ever made in my entire life. There's been so many things that have happened to myself, to Sonny, uh, just in general there, it has this very eerie vibe, something that you can't really just get out of your head. Once you leave there, the place travels with you. It really does. And there's so many comments that have come up about me being possessed there. And I've looked up possession. And it quite frankly scares the shit out of me. And I never really believed in possession. I believe in good and I believe in evil. Everybody has, nobody's ever really asked me what I believe in. I go ghost hunting, but they don't ask me what I believe in. And I believe in good and I believe in evil. And sometimes when you have the synergy of both come together, evil really does outpower the good most of the time, especially in situations like the Honeycut Farm. And what I'm trying to get my point across to you is this. Uh, I, I was not insensitive towards Sonny. Um, I'm gonna roll this clip right here. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. Bro, what the f is going on? Yo, there's some weird ass fucking energy in that room right there, man. As soon as we walked in, I knew something wasn't right. Ted, are you here? If it's not Ted, make yourself known. Just don't fucking haunt us or possess us. I'm telling you right now, I've been to a lot of places, dude. This is more activity at this place than anywhere. I'm telling you, this is spirits that are. Oh gosh, what the fuck? Yo, 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 whoa, 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 what the fuck are you doing, dude? Something's fucking burning, dude. What? Something's fucking burning me. Yo, okay, legit? Yo, I don't think being here is such a good idea anymore. Dude, here, take my fucking kit. What is burning? Something is burning me. There's a fucking handprint on you, bro. Yo, I don't even like this, dude. I don't even want to be here. Literally, I do not want to be here right now. Fuck, dude. I do not want to fucking be here. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Let's... Ow. Ow. Jesus what Christ. the fuck is going on in this motherfucker? Damn it, dude. Damn it. Dude, what oh, is God. going on right now, man? I don't know, but I, 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 I'm going out here. Oh, shit. Yeah. You going to leave me in here? Well, you can stay if you want. I'm just fucking burn me. I'm not going back in that room. Uh oh. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, God. I've never felt more uncomfortable in my whole life. I feel like I can't move. I told you something didn't feel right. As soon as we showed up here and came down here, told you something wasn't right, dude. I told you something wasn't right. Yo, let me see that legit. That looks like somebody fucking nailed your ass. Ah, dude, it just started it's burning. Like that's a red mark right there. Gosh, damn, son. Yo, it's like, it's just like one scratch right through there. It looks like it's red around it. That looks like a fucking hand. 
Yo, what the hell is that? That was not meant in a purposeful way from me. I, I genuinely, let me get this out here. I genuinely care about Sonny. He's one of my best friends. We have grown very close together over the past couple of years. I've known him for four or five years and it's just one of the things like every time we get on camera, I mean, you all comment all the time that, you know, we're such an awesome duo and we, you all want more Sonny and CJ videos and we're giving you all that content, but there's a problem with Sonny and I. And this is what I'm talking about is the fact that when we go to the farm and we film, as soon as I walk out of my truck, I, I'll open up the gates, everything's fine. Drive in, lock the gates behind us, drive back there to the, to the barn and, and it's just like something just comes over me. I get real anxious. I get like real short of breath sometimes. And I don't believe that I'm possessed, but if you read enough shit on the internet, you think that you're gonna die tomorrow, okay? And, and that's the thing, like you read about possessions, you hear about possessions, and a lot of you said that we need to be cleansed and we need an exorcism, which probably might not be a bad idea. But it's come to the point now where things have to change and change drastically for me. What I mean is I've hired a medium to come to the farm. I know this person and it's very scary and very frightening Trust me when I say that, I, and I don't take paranormal investigating lightly because there's a lot that can go wrong. I do not recommend a single one of you to go do it. If you wanna go ghost hunting and explore a haunted place, that's great, that's fun. Everyone's gonna have a great time with that. And this is a serious video, I'm telling you. There's something about that farm, I'm not sure what it is. And then I go into that one room, and you all comment below that like, I'm not myself. And I've read a lot of comments and I've taken a lot of things in, and I, I, I am not myself when I'm at that farm. You all say that, Sonny says that, I even see that after I edit the video. Um, there is the one video that I have not released yet, and that's the night where Sonny and I spent the night at the farm. Sonny will not go back to the farm. Not in daylight, not in nighttime, he will never go back there, he said. He is done with that place. Uh, what happened, in that video, uh, it, I, you all think Sonny's handprint on the side of him and the scratch was bad. You have not seen shit until you see this video. It is absolutely absurd what happens. It is absolutely insane what you will see on camera. I get choked up talking about it and it's one of those deals where it's not something to toy around with. I'm gonna play this next clip, and this next clip is actually of the shadow figure that we call at the farm. Um, and this was before Sonny and I even went to explore. This is before I owned the farm. <sighs> Roll the clip. Maybe it was just an animal, dude, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping like hell that was an animal. So, there you see it. There is a literal shadow figure that runs by the screen. That was the first instance where I felt uncomfortable or I felt maybe there's something a little bit too more to this farm than what I thought. Um, you know, you dig in the history, you find the owner, the owner tells you more, you know, locals tell you more. And I did not expect to dig up the history that I dug up. And to be quite frank with you, I don't understand uh, how to help spirits cross over. I think I do, but I truly don't. That's where a medium comes into play. And the medium that I'm gonna bring to the farm uh, this is gonna be one of those things where I'm, I'm gonna try to talk Sonny into it, but I'm not gonna force him into doing it. And again, uh, let me revert back here. I went to Sonny's house the very next day after I reviewed the footage, and I apologized profusely. I'm like, dude, I'm sorry I did not like, was not more caring, it's not like me. Anybody who knows me in real life knows I'm a very caring person, I'm compassionate to people, I'm passionate about what I do, and I take care of my best friends, I take care of my family. The problem is when you start dealing with evil things and evil spirits, a lot can change, not only with you and your personality, but your entire life. So I went over there and I, I apologize. I'm like, dude, I don't know what it was. The, like, something came over me and, and it just freaks me out. And I feel fine other than when I'm there. I, I truly feel fine. I can walk around, I can do things, I can go do this, I can go do that, go to the business and, and I'm good. But it's just when I'm there, it's just not a very good vibe whatsoever. So what I'm trying to say is this, there is a medium that's gonna be coming to the farm. 
and uh, uh, it's very strange all of the coincidences that have happened and I told the medium about this and, and, and she is like, listen, let's go there, let's see what happens. Let's try to see if we can actually get something to cross over. And if it's an evil spirit, she said, we gotta leave it alone and you need to just stay away, far away from this place because it's gonna cause a lot of havoc in your life, not only with the videos while you're filming it there, but everybody in your life. Because if something attaches to you, it goes with you. So I'm gonna play a couple of clips from different uh, parts, uh, part three and four. I'm gonna throw some clips in there. Part five, this is like a literal storyline building and it's gonna make sense when you watch it and, you, and when I cram this together, pay extremely close attention and pay attention to the clues in this video. This is crazy. When I start putting these things together, I'm, I'm a very visual person. I go to a whiteboard, I write down what happened on part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, and then when I went with James and Chelsea and I took them there, it was like, unreal what his oculus said i think it's an oculus is what that thing's called but uh it was just it was a device like a speaker box very 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 expensive piece of equipment um and it communicates with spirits it said silo it said uh did he hurt on belly which sunny was hurt on the belly which is just blows my mind i get chills if i hair it would be standing straight up right now and i, I just again I want you all to know that we have not been responsible while investigating and filming these videos. We have been very just wild west. We call it the wild west wing. We just go in there like the wild west and we wing it. And that's what we've been doing. So looking at things in, 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 a, in a different light has, has changed my perspective clearly. Uh, knowing more about evil and good spirits and evil and good energy. Uh, there's definitely two things that exist out in this world and that's good and it's evil, so. What the hell would have happened right here in this area? I can't see. Hang on. Look. See? Is that, is my camera doing that? No, uh-uh, look. Okay. I don't know much See, about you put it right up against it and okay. it's still doing the same thing. Do the same thing with mine. Cameras don't transmit energy like Ooh, what was that? Now it just went off. It flashed red. Oh look, 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 look. Oh shit. It's going like crazy right now, man. Alright, look, that's making me paranoid, dude. I feel like there's something all around me now. Alright. I'm gonna set up the camera right here. Okay, all right, so right now, the EMF meter has been going off like in this general air. My f***ing light. You saw that, right? No, I'm looking right at it. No, I didn't see it. Yeah, I saw it. What in the hell? Dude, man? I've got chills right now, man. Are you sure you charged it? Um, that's a, it's a brand new light. And it literally is charged. Dude, that thing is oh. blinking red right in your hand. As you're oh, guys, guys, guys. I don't know if y'all can see this right now. This thing is going crazy. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Now it's stopped. If there's something here with us right now, make yourself known. Make yourself known. If there is something here with us right now, I want you to use your energy and turn off my light. I want you to use every bit of energy and turn off my light. Oh my shit, gosh, dude. dude. Oh my gosh. That is insane. I'm t I'm deathly terrified right now. Deathly terrified. I don't even know what to say, dude. The meter right now is at one. <clears throat> it's on the green, as you can see. We need to do the spirit box session right here. Wow. That's, all right, let's just make sure this is not a coincidence. <clears throat> if there is something here with us right now to not, all right. Dude, it's red, it's red. It was, it just spiked red. I saw it as you was moving it around. All right, this is the hot spot. This is where we need to break out the spirit box. Look, there it is again, dude, uh, look, look, look. 
<laughs> oh. Stop freaking coughing! My spit just went down the wrong pipe. When I get closer to the land, I can't see it. There's nothing there. There's nothing there now. Okay, hang on. Let's break out the spirit box, man. This is way too good. We can literally get some serious ass answers around here, man. Alright. <coughs> okay, so I was trying to set up the spirit box. When I was trying to do it, this thing has brand new batteries in it. Now this is the transmitter. This is the actual thing that transmit and picks up the frequencies, right? Brand new batteries in it, and this thing is already dead. And uh, luckily, I have some batteries in this flashlight <clears throat> that I'm gonna use. Um, if I didn't have this flashlight, I don't think we'd be doing a spirit box session right now. We'd have to run out and grab some batteries. So luckily, I've got these batteries here. Rather be lucky than good, right? Yeah, no shit. Now remember, this thing is gonna scare us like it does every single time. I, I, th uh, this will never get normal to me when this thing goes. Power on. Now. Turn the volume up. Is there anyone here with us right now tonight? I guess so. It's good. It's good. It's good. Are we in any harm? Are we in any harm by being here? Did that say CJ? Dude, that really did sound like CJ. Use your energy. Use all your energy. What did it say? Oh, Let me try to turn this. I don't even know what that just said. Guys, comment below if you can hear. Okay. Can you repeat yourself? Use all your energy. Are we in harm by being here? I don't know what that said. I don't know. What happened to you? Can someone please tell me? Talk to me. Tell me your name. Can one of the spirits tell me their names? Ted? Ted? Ted or dead? Ted. Ted? I think. Use this to communicate with us. That was a woman's voice. That was a female voice. Can you tell me how you were killed? Tell me. Communicate with me. Help me tell your story. Gun? That's what it sounded like to me, a gun. Were you killed by a gun? haunt us or possess us. I'm telling you right now, I've been to a lot of places, dude. This is more activity at this place than anywhere. I'm telling you, this is spirits that are... Oh, gosh! What the fuck? Yo, 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 yo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck are you doing, dude? Something's fucking burning, dude. What? Something's fucking burning me.
Yo, okay, legit. Yo, I don't think being here is such a good idea anymore. Dude, here, take my fucking kit. What is burning? Something is burning me. There's a fucking handprint on you, bro. Yo, I don't even like this, dude. I don't even want to be here. Literally, I do not want to be here right now. Fuck, dude. I do not want to fucking be here. Let's go. Yo, let's go. Look. Ow. Ow. Jesus what Christ. the fuck is going on in this motherfucker? Oh, damn it, dude. Damn it. Dude, what oh, is God. going on right now, man? I don't know, but I... I, 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 I is there anything that wants to communicate with me? Who just knocked this over? Maybe it was the cord. You did. I did? It, it literally sounded like it said you did. Okay, I have some questions that I wrote down. Where are my questions? Um, Okay. Who scratched Sonny? It said Sonny. What the? Do you want to tell me your name? Tell me your name. I don't know what that says. Repeat yourself. I couldn't. I couldn't make out what you were saying. Is in this? So something is in this. It said. Attached to that thing. This thing literally has been telling stories. Did he say did he heal? On the belly? On the belly. Get the Bro, fuck did he out heal? of here. Did he heal on the belly? Like, did what he heal on the belly? That so is one. insane because it was right there near the belly. I swear. Go. You can't. You just can't. I mean. That is not even a coincidence. That is real no, shit. It, it is, dude. That's scary stuff. Scary? What in the hell was that? Okay, next it's up to you. I want you to comment below right now. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think is going on. A lot of you watch not only my videos, but a lot of other people's videos. And they may some say something or know something that I don't know. I don't watch anyone's YouTube videos. I upload to YouTube and I listen to music in my car and truck. That's literally about it. So. I want y'all to comment below what you think it is. What do you think is happening there? Is this spirit or energy targeting me or is it targeting Sonny? Now from what I've told the medium, I got a pretty good understanding of what's going on and it really does scare me and disturb me to my core, but we're gonna take her there, we're gonna investigate and we are gonna see exactly what is going on and what she feels. And maybe she can tell us more of a story and maybe she can communicate with them. That would be awesome. That would be great. I'd make my day actually if that could happen. So again, I want to leave off this video and in, in, in letting you know that you know Sonny and I, we are cool. He didn't even care that I wasn't compassionate and you know caring about what happened to his side. Um, I still look back and, and my mind's blown that I didn't even like. It's like I couldn't care. It's like it's like I have no feelings, no emotions. Um, just at the farm at least. I have feelings and emotions outside of it. I, I don't understand it. And, and I'm truly coming to each and every one of you and saying um, I'm sorry even though I don't have to. I apologize to Sonny. That's the only important thing. Um, you know, my best friend, he, he's like a little brother to me. So uh, again, I just want to let everybody know Sonny and I are cool. Um, you all don't have to worry about that. And um, reverting back before we started um, continuing our series through the uh, Honeycutt Farm, we went and filmed at Pinhurst Asylum, and there's a few things that had happened when you know we were just hanging out beforehand and all that kind of stuff. And, and I'm gonna get into that in a whole different video. Because at the end of the Pinhurst Asylum investigation, I was done, I was ready to be done with YouTube 110%. Like I, I was like not even wanting to continue doing uh, paranormal investigations and ghost hunting and all this kind of stuff. I actually wanted to just be like, you know what, I'm gonna go dive in the rivers and pick up trash and film that and, and do vlogging. Uh, I, I truly did not want to continue, but, and one thing I wanna leave off with is this, is uh, I've reached 200,000 subscribers. 
My goal was to hit 100,000 subscribers within five years. I've hit 200,000 subscribers in under two years, and I wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thank you. It's not the number that means anything to me. It's the amount of people that email me, send me fan mail, and the PO box is, is below, and you send me fan mail, I send you something back. It's, this, it's the fan mail, it's the emails, it's the comments that say I inspire you. And, and I get a lot of people that are like, I'm having a bad day, I watch your videos, and, and it just seems to bring a smile about me. That is what matters to me, is me impacting one of you behind the screen. But what good are 10 million subscribers or a million subscribers if I'm not motivating you and inspiring you and giving you amazing content? Like, at the end of the day, I want y'all to know that I love each and every single one of you, and if I could take the rest of my life to actually like put you all in a stadium and hug each and every one of you and say thank you right to your face, I would absolutely take the opportunity to do it. So, again, thank you. It's a very heartfelt message I really wanted to convey tonight, and uh, also want to let you know Sunny and I are good. Nothing's gonna change there. Um, completely understandable situation when we go there, but. From this point forward, um, you know, I've got to talk Sonny into going there with the medium and myself. So if you guys can, maybe hit uh, him and I up on Twitter and kind of just say, hey, look, Sonny, we all support you. If you want to go back, let's go back. If you don't want to go back, we completely, uh, and we all have to please understand this. Don't throw shade if he does not want to go back. Because I don't want to force him into doing something that he does not want to do. He had an absolutely terrible experience during the overnight investigation when we spent the night in there. And I really want everybody to respect that. And uh, if you think the handprint was bad, you just wait until you see the overnight challenge that we did. We literally slept in there all night long. Things are never the same, especially after this. I love you guys and girls so, so much. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Thank you very much, and I'll see you all next time.